epa risha risha epa i thank you and i bless you in the name of obatala obatarisha obatakutakulu je roje it has been a while yeah i've been um, praying I've been on a um, festival in the Holy Temple in Ileife and there's been a lot experience a lot of uh, goodies that uh, the Supreme Light Oludumari and Urshala have uh, given us um I would love to thank Oludumari for this moment, for this hour. I would like to thank the Light of Light for giving out the strength and the power to be here, to witness this very moment. Imagine a beautiful day, beautiful day. Even when we lost, it's still beautiful. Even when we gain, it's still beautiful. We thank Oludumari. Time the light that gives all things. Yeah, I would like to go quickly today. A uh, very beautiful topic. How do you know if you are connected to all this Orisha? Yeah, there's another good subject for today. Um, it is good for us to understand one thing. We are human beings and we are divine from the divine light. We all came from the light. For you to start asking, how do you connect with Urishas? Kind of funny because you are divine. You are sons and daughter of Uludumari. What is Orisha? Orisha simply means Eyantiu Uri Mujadi Eyanti Uri Oshajadi Orisha Da Somebody that the head chooses out. When the head chooses you out, that means you are son of the Supreme Being. Every one of us, the head chooses you out because we were given back to into this world. So, and the aspect of making it pronounced is the heaven chooses you. You are all leaders. We are all leaders. We are all mighty one from heaven. For you to come aside and be saying, how do I know if I'm connected to Urisha? One, you are a living soul. Two, you are a spirit being. Three, you are human. So those three things qualify you to connect to Orisha. Orisha were spirit, soul, and body and, and flesh. They came to those levels. They were the first one before us. All the wisdom or the understanding that they brought being taught. So relax. You will understand it bit by bit. Don't rush. There's a lot to teach. There's a lot to talk about. We we'll begin to understand ourselves. We we'll begin to understand our Father, the Source, the Light Himself, that sent the Mighty Ones, that sent the Orishas, that sent Orishala to this world to teach us His ways, 
and to know more about the light. The light is the source of all. He's the one that has been sending, that has been crying out. He is the light of the universe, the light of all things that exist and things that does not exist. Everything, good, bad, evil, whatever you may call it, comes from the light. You need to understand. Open your heart. Open your inner ears and your inner eyes to see, to understand, to hear the voice of the one that has been sending all these beautiful, strong sons and daughters to you, generation to generation, to understand that he is the light. He is the divine one. He is the supreme light. He is the original light. All who shall come into this world to do his will. They didn't come to do their will. The will of Olodumare, the will of the light himself, the supreme one. The life that exists on himself. The light that light himself. No one sustained him. He is the one that sustained all God. He is the one that sustained all Orisha. So don't get me wrong. For you to ask questions that how you connected to Orisha, there's a lot of ways. There's a lot of way that you you need to go through to understand, or you need to ask, or you need to know that you are connected to Orisha. You are connected to Orisha. You are connected to Olodumare. Olodumare is the one that sent the Orisha. And you are connected to Olu Tumari as well. He is good. He is the light. He is the light of all. He is the source of all. He sent all these deities, all these spirit, things that you do not understand. He sent them so that you may understand. Yeah, there's a lot going through your mind there. Why is this traditional man talking about light? Indeed, from the beginning, he is the light. It's all about him in heaven, and it's all about him on earth. There's a lot of manipulation, a lot of manipulation that manipulate everything to, you know, to deceive masses. A lot of people being deceived. But we thank Urishallah, we thank the divine light himself, uncorruptible light, light that is above all, the source of all things, dwells. You might be looking for him anywhere you want to look for him, but we, the children of Urishallah, the children of the light. We know where he is. You understand? So you don't need to fly to sky, fly, dig the ground, go to the sea, go anywhere you get there, whatever deity you meet will tell you, although the man dwells where he dwells, where he is. They know if they will tell you the truth. But first you need to discover yourself, to discover your spirit, to know how capable your spirit is, to know how big your spirit really is. And begin to understand your powers. You begin to understand how to use them for mankind, how to use them to do good. Mujuba, fulu du mari. Mujuba fungu kwa wu ikbayu mule. You need to understand, and you need to respect the mighty ones. It is important 
So, not to go further to other things. What we're trying to say today here is, how do you really know that you're connected to all these Orishas? They might visit you in your dream. They might send somebody, a physical person, to meet you and tell you that you are a daughter or you are a son to Ogun, you are a son to Yemoja, you are a daughter to Oshun, you are a daughter to the Yamis. You are connected because um, if you watch my story, my films that I've been making on YouTube, I've said so many things about how Orisha comes to this physical earth. They were dwelling in heaven before they come. There is heaven. We, the traditional people, we know it's heaven. Is it you doing far? They talk about all before the physical earth. So we need to understand that there's trans, there's there's a there's a there's a way they transform transform themselves from spirit to being, just like me and you. That's better than the 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 the. the well, uh, what's it called? The um, so-called world that we've been doing in heaven has been taken. The memory has been taken. So when we come into this world, we do not remember everything. But we've been dwelling with the Almighty. We've been dwelling with the light. We've been with the light. We were in the conscious mind of the light, the light. We we're in the conscious mind of Oludumari. Manifestation of the light to Ludumaro, Ludumari to us. So there are lots to learn. There's a lot to learn. We give thanks to all the Orishas that are make it possible to prove to 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 prove to pre preserve all the ancient things of Africa. For not letting it to destroy, for not letting it to waste. Thank you for the wisdom in the air. Thank you, the wisdom in the sea. Thank you, the wisdom that floats in the cloud. Everything was hidden. Yeah, so for you to be saying you don't know who you are at this very time. You need to go and check yourself out, right? You need to go and research to know your real self, where you're from. It is important. So there are going to be a lot of things in my channel. There are going to be a lot of uh, introduction, bringing people in, introduction about um, the harps, introduction about the spiritual and climate, uh, spiritual lessons, to know more about yourself, to know more. Uh, if I, I do not teach how you're going to, you know, it's not about physical money or whatever, but wisdom, how to make money, wisdom, how to, how to, you know, take yourself to a higher level, to know yourself. So, we'll talk about spiritual things. Awareness, what is going on around you, what is going on around the society, around where you are. It's going to be a lot. Yeah. We're going to discuss secret things about spiritual things. We're going to expose so many things. You know, there's a lot we're going to do in my channel. And then by the time we, we discover ourselves, begin to know what you and me can do <laughs> sky will be our limit yeah I'm a traditional priest I talk about traditional stuff talk about traditional things we all have tradition black, white, brown, whatever we all have tradition we need to preserve our tradition that's what I stand for preserve us our, our tradition to, to to make it real in tradition there are a lot of things 
not hateful things, not uh, barbaric things, no things that we improve our wisdom or make us to move. No more about the light himself, no more about the deities. Why well, are we afraid? The deities do exist, they do exist, they do live, they do dwell, and they have a bloodline as well. So we need to know more about these deities. We need to talk about them. We need to discuss them. We need to let the world know that these deities are real. They've, they've, they've developed so many developed countries. We have so many stories that they, they, you know, the wise ones came to this earth. They still have their sites. They still have their building. They still have their, their, their blood. The bloodline is still there. The blueprint is still there. So I uh, thank you for watching this little video. May Lord Almighty continue to bless you. Morishala continue to bless you. I release the power and the blessing of Lord Almighty and Orishala upon your life. Every rope that I've been tied will be losing in the name of Obatala, Obatarisha, Obatakutakulo Jiroji. Uh, Kobi be kushebe yo, ikpa wisha.